Hello. Welcome back to another video. As you can see, I don't have my equipment set up right now, but I'm going to be doing something a little different today. I'm getting ready to go meet a family. The mother's name is Yvonne. Uh, Emma Marie Jordan was 11 years old. She was thrown from a car that she was riding in with family on Leadership Parkway in North Reno just after 10.30 on January 14th. So I, when I first saw this story and read about it, I felt a connection. I don't know if Emma was trying to get me to connect with her mother, but I did feel a big connection to this story. So we did get in touch. Come to find out that they live literally like two miles away from me. So it's kind of interesting that we were connected. So I'm getting everything ready and I'm going to go over to their house and I'm going to set up all the equipment and we'll see what happens. So I'll see you soon. Bye. We're going to do a little portal box session with Emma. Um, this is her mom, Yvonne. So we want to see if maybe she'll come through and contact, you know, come in contact with us today. Um, we just want to reach out and just see if she's okay. So Emma, if you can hear me, would you come through and say your name? something today will you come in contact with your mom can you say something Emma, 
Can you let mommy know you're okay? singing sometimes? Can you sing for us? allowing them to come in, you know. It said I'm good. Family. Mm -hmm. 
Ollie. It said, oh, it said Ollie. Oh, it's trying so hard I can hear it through the different frequencies. I heard Ollie. Oh my gosh. It's protected. She's with my grandma. And I'm happy that they're together. It said we're okay. Yes. In a man's voice, yes. Emma, are you with anyone else? It's a grandpa. Happy. A lot of times they won't say their name, do you like? But I did hear Emma. I just want this to help you. you know, I want you to know that she is around you. I feel like you could just talk to her and she'll be there. Yeah. Emma, can you light up those lights? Can you come near these lights? They'll light up. Just come near it. Sometimes it's hard for them to do lights, I feel like. You know, some videos the lights will go off the whole time, and then other videos, nothing. So maybe it's like an energy that they have to have, you know, to do things like that. I'm not sure. That's amazing that it said only. It said, yeah. It was like, yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. It sounded like it said happy. Emma, do you have any messages for your mom? Do you want to say anything else? Here. Sometimes that'll come through too. Well, let's just see. <laughs> Sound like it said hi, Dad. miss you, it sounded like it said I miss you at the same time. I set it off. I swear I've heard it say Emma probably five or six times. It's all Emma. Emma. 
I heard her name like four times. Emma, have you been visiting Grandpa in Texas? At the house? I thought I heard Grandpa a couple times too. I thought I heard yes. It's kind of amazing how you can hear the words just kind of come in, you know? Because why would it be saying her name? It's a grandpa, it's at Ollie. I mean, you have to think. Like, like, why is it saying that? You know, it's not just coincidence. It sounded like it said violin. still playing guitar in heaven? I love you. I'm with you. In a girl's voice. And I wanted to make you guys feel better, you know, to know that she's still around you. Oh, well, from the dreams that she showed me in the vision, she's definitely a divine spiritual being up there. Yeah. I know she's in a better place. And it's beautiful where she is. That's awesome. Kind of. Emma, what would you say to your mom to make her feel better? Got really quiet. I've heard her say I love you like four or five times. Say whatever you want. I love you. Did you hear it? And like sing it. It was all I love you. I wish it would just come through so clear and just be like, hi mom, it's Emma, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm good mom, don't worry. <laughs> she shows little signs and I love that. That's awesome. She loves red cone shells everywhere. <laughs> That's cool. I heard hi mom again. Mommy brought all your artwork here. She do a lot of drawing, painting and stuff. That's neat. Maybe she was going to be an artist. In so many ways. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. I took all art classes at, in college, in graphic design and art. That's all I took. I loved it. <laughs> Sometimes 
was just turning on your mom. I heard I'd love you again. My, my dad's here? Your dad's here? It said like your dad's here. You mean talking about grandma? Your dad's here.
like rides around with you everywhere and watches you. Yeah. You know? I wouldn't be surprised at all. She has a coat rack that was grandpa's, my grandfather's. Yeah. He passed away probably about 12 years ago. And, uh... I hear, like, she's... She keeps saying your She's name. interacting. <laughs> really? She's she interacting with you while you're talking. Well, she won't talk to me directly, but you guys hear it. <laughs> my hand hearing is bad, but, like... <laughs> We got there like the day before we decided like all right we're gonna move back in or move in with my parents and yeah. stuff like that um my mom said that she put grandpa's coat rack out and it was sitting in the garage for, like 12 the whole forever for yeah. fucking ever it was yeah. sitting in the garage collecting dust and then something possessed her to put it out right by the coat rack right by the front door and then like immediately as soon as we got home we put our coats like it was like ours like yeah i don't know it's kind of weird like all those little like breadcrumbs that are left from the other side like letting you know that they're still there exactly and yeah. then i also found a bracelet that my sister cheyenne had made for one of her friends named madison and i didn't put the connection together but madison was one of my first deaths I had ever experienced when I was like 18, or no, I was actually like 16, 17, when my uh, girlfriend at the time, it was her sister's, it was her niece, it was her niece. Yeah. She passed away. She was like fucking like, no more than, younger than a year. And she wasn't even walking. And then they said it was Sid's, and like her name was Madison. Wow. And so there was a bracelet from Madison. And then huh. a coat rack from my grandpa, and it's just weird how it's just like that is weird. little things that like they're like, hey, I'm here. This is hey, all I can do. Maybe she's with Madison. I mean, that's you, you know, know, like my grandma told me she's. We've gotten so many phone calls from so many different people that are like Emma was with a such and so family relative, for a best friend who passed away. 14 fucking years ago, wow. I dreamt them cool. holding hands in a dream together, and they said that we're okay now. Like, it's... Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, like, like, 30 plus people. She, yeah. People that have met her, she's told me that people that have met her, like, for a second. Yeah. Like, in a grocery weird. store. They're like, I dreamt of her and my grandpa. Yeah. Like, oh it's, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, my friend Selena, her dad passed away a long time ago, but she only met Emma once, literally, at a grocery store, just passing by. And, um, we just said hi, we talked or whatever, but my thought is that I remembered how I interacted with my friends. So she's like, oh, that's a nice person. And yeah, that's her mind. And then she called me one night and was like, I had a dream that Emma was walking with my dad. Oh my gosh. And I was like, oh, really? And she's like, yeah, they're by a lake and he loved fishing. And I was like, that's crazy because Emma always loved to go fishing with my family. I didn't really like going oh, fishing, wow. but Emma would always That's go. amazing. Yeah. It's like letting you know that that's what she's doing, you know? She's at the lake. I'm just happy that she's not, and I told him this, I I was baptized, but I didn't let, like, I wanted to give them a choices. Yeah. So I let her choose her religion. She went to two different churches, but she knows that I'm a spiritualist, so yeah. she kind of combined that together, and she wasn't baptized, and I was, like, talking to him about it, and I was like, was that a wrong choice? And he said, it's, no. It's okay. Yeah. It, it, it's I, okay. He, he said it's not a wrong choice because she's free to roam. She's not bound to one thing. Exactly. Like her soul isn't bound to her religion. She's a, she's a spiritual entity. She's not, she's non-linear. She can visit. That's why she can visit everybody because she isn't under one covenant. Yeah, or, you know what I mean? You know. Exactly. I, every time he talks, I hear yeah. a young girl talking. Yeah. Oh, she's a talk. We talk, bro. We talk so much. <laughs> it sounded like it was like, I'm, a, I'm right here and then something after. Maybe you need to get a spirit box. <laughs> I was thinking of doing that. that. I was thinking of doing that and also the like um, the things that move like above when you put her on like the mantle. You have to see. Yeah. I'm she's, very like No, oh, she definitely used my energy before. I think it was like I don't know if it was like a week, but like for four hours she was kinda like using me and oh, wow. I was like drawing in the dark. I don't draw really. Yeah. And it was like all her drawings. And when I turned the light on, it was like her drawing through me. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's like kind of scary in a way, but then it's so cool because it like confirms. She always calls me in the morning, like 
She always says mom. I saw I saw in that article you said something about at 1 a.m. every she, morning at I, 1. That, I think that's what got me was that I felt like you guys were so open-minded about this, you know, and that's why I contacted you because some people are just like, oh, come on, stop it, you know, you're just imagining, like, no, we're no very, it's we're, not. We're very, we actually, do you know anything about the El Rancho Hotel out in oh. Arizona? Arizona? It's familiar. It's like a super haunted, like, celebrity stop and shop, whatever. Oh, okay. But we went, Emma and I went running around the hallways and, like, quote unquote, because <laughs> there was a ghost hunting tour there. Oh, cool. So that was actually our second trip there. Oh, my gosh. Our second so stop. So she there. was all open minded, too. Oh, of course. Yeah. We took her to Pride. I mean, that's cool. We're, yeah, we were open minded. Oh. Very much so. And I, my, my grandma, she was very much a spiritualist, and, like, she's able to pick up on, like, just basic people's energies like if someone's not genuine at all through yeah. and through you can i can feel like i can feel it out immediately like immediately i can be like that's not a good person they may look and may feel genuine but yeah it's like they're not it's not they're not good and through and through yeah. or they may be going through something or they're not exactly. or like we need to just stay away from that person yeah. i have yet to be fucking wrong very intuitive with them i've actually heard emma when we were packing up the last couple of things we were, it was, there was a house full of kids, but like no one was in the rooms where I heard the noise come, like her, her say my name, but she always loved jumping around fucking corners. That was her thing. <laughs> and going like, Darren, or going like that, or bleh, or whatever, ma, 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 everything, literally fucking everything, all the time. And so I was in the garage and I was fumbling with some things and all of a sudden out of the corner of my ear, I hear, Darren. And I like looked. <laughs> And I was like, hello? And then like, no one was in the kitchen. Oh I like gosh. popped my head in the kitchen and I looked in the living room. There was no one in the living room. And I was like, well, there's only one person She did that scary that. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Always, still always trying. She's been calling Darren's name. Yeah. Only when I'm talking though. That's Every all. time he talks, it, you can hear it. I was trying to talk to Darren. I was talking to this one grandma that was, uh, grandma came to us his name. Because the only one in the because there's been stuff where, like, it's been left for us, or there's stuff that, like, like when we were trying to choose her earrings for viewing, we got home and we were like, we don't know which freaking ones to look for. And there was literally one, like, a pair of earrings sitting on, like, the TV stand in the living room, just sitting there, of, like, earrings oh and a necklace. And we're like, well, those are the ones. Everything's been butterflies. Oh, wow. Yeah. Everything. Okay. No, it was wild. It's... So if you were outside in a garden, you'd probably see butterflies flying around you. Just, you know, just, literally. It's just wild to me. And then like, the whole... yeah, it's messed up to say, but I feel like it was destiny because I went through an old diary from like. I love you. I went through an old diary from like probably four months before she was born. I was going through baby names, and the baby name that I wanted to give to her was Emma Marie Way Jordan. And that's who we're trying to name the street after is Emma Marie Way. But Emma always got her way. She could, if I said no, if I said no, she would call either grandma or anybody else. That's funny. Hey, you sweetheart? Hi. Emma, grandma's here. Grandma Eva's here. It sounded like it said, hello, G. Did she ever call you G? <laughs> Even though that's my middle, my first name. Yeah. I would say I'm a so she, she calls you old people or young grandma. Young grandma. grandma. I'm young grandma. <laughs> young grandma. <laughs> young grandma. <laughs> Thank you. I think we definitely got confirmation. I know when you guys were talking, I was hearing things too. But I kept hearing Darren, and then he started talking about ghosts, and I heard her say "ghost hunter." <laughs> Still here? She was in the room with us when you 
we've had my mom's heard people calling her name and then she saw what appeared to be her to her it was a woman but there was no one out there oh my God. um that's amazing i was sitting here on the table and you see the locks on that table yeah I was to, it popped open and hit me in my leg and i said everyone wants to look for something i don't know what i gotta go down there look for, but she wants to look for something. oh it was this table i thought it was in there yeah, was emma this, used to oh, climb so in here i remember when she was younger oh and the door popped open oh, wow, wow. Yeah, at a dark That's moment. amazing. When I was talking about Texas, because she was coming to, she go like to be in my movie theater room. And one night, my husband said, because he, he always turns the TV off. He said the TV came on, went off, and then there was noises in our movie theater room, and there was no one in there. Oh my gosh! And stuff. So yeah. It's, so you're probably trying to turn in a movie, so, you know, the TV. Maybe that's. She wants to see a movie. <laughs> well, Emma, mommy's gonna go see Mean Girls. You can come see Mean Girls with me. You know, you said you wanted to see Mean Girls, and your hair is so fetch. <laughs> Grandma loved your hair. You have pretty hair, a little soft, like a baby, baby hair. Well, so the irony is she had just dyed her hair brown and red, and that's usually the colors I keep, but my hair is red. Yeah. And she called me up the night before, and she said, Grandma, I dyed my hair brown and red, like you. Aw. I'm like, I'm like you, young Grandma. Said, oh, really? And then she, she sent me a picture that was the last picture I got. Hello again, and thank you so much for watching the video to the end. I just finished editing the portal box session with Emma May and her family. It took me a while to edit the video with Emma because there was a lot of EVPs coming through. That was the first time that I've done a random portal box session with a family and I think it just confirms and validates that Emma was still around her family. She's still watching over them and she's still around them. I wanted to thank Yvonne and her family for welcoming me to their home and being so open about the portal box session. With everything that came through and even the evidence and things that they've had happen, it was just amazing to me that she, it just really validates and confirms that our loved ones are still around us even after they pass. So I wanted to send healing prayers to Yvonne and her family, and I hope the Porto Box session helped them to feel better. I would also like to thank all my viewers for all their love and support. I really enjoy all the comments that I read each week. And I want to do a shout out and thank Tiffany so much for becoming a Patreon member to the channel. I appreciate you so much. If you liked the video, please comment below, hit the thumbs up, and let me know what you thought about the video with Emma and her family. And I will see you soon. Thanks. Bye.